How's up, y'all? It's Poppin' with Cartoon and Steve Boss here. Actually, this video by the Celebrity Junk. It's titled, Adam22 Just Gave Fresh and Fit Their Wake Up Call. Okay, now Adam22 is against them. Wasn't he on their show at one point, or am I making that up? I thought they were cool, but I, I might be imagining that. I'm not sure. But, yeah, let's hear what he has to say. Let's watch. Well, let's get everybody. Oh, my God. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of the celebrity jump a lot of people have been commenting on the downfall of fresh and fit uh, especially me right you know i have gotten my little bag off of it i've been benefiting from it and, uh, i'm gonna continue to benefit from it <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna let you know that's what your boy is gonna do i'm going to continue to grip and it's not only just me it's other people too and when i'm talking about other people i mean other podcasts and it's not just adam 22 it's other people but oh, definitely this so adam 22 recently has come out on fresh and fit and he has talked about this having one thing that you're good at and just running it into the ground i mean if you look at whatever fresh and fit that's what they do they bring girls on they make crazy ass content granted like are they still as popular as they used to be? I'm not so sure. So Myron Gaines has an update page called Wiring Gaines. And you heard what Adam22 said, that Fresh and Fit fell off. They only did one thing very good. So people are saying that, that Adam22 is hating, but we gotta look at it is from he? this standpoint. Is he? First of all, Adam22, his platform makes at least a million dollars a month. He owns his own commercial property in LA. I mean, I don't know how much money he's making in the booty clapping industries. Oh, Lord. He's monetized on Facebook. He's monetized yeah. on Snapchat. I he's doing everything. Okay? You want to know why Fresh and Fit fell off? Because they can't make money. They can't keep bringing in big guests in their broke. That's the reason why. If you can't make money off whatever you do, you're in a lot of trouble. All right? And Fresh and Fit can no longer sustain themselves. And they fell off. It's the truth. Now these other guys are going to come out and take shots at them because they blew it. First of all, let me kind of get back into content packaging, which is so important, all right? Now, when you're the first to do something like Fresh and Fit was in this business, they? they had the OnlyFans girls on the podcast. They were kicking the girls out, okay? Guys saw that that worked. Mm. So a guy said, okay, well, shoot, we can just set up a podcast also, like the Whatever Pod, and do something similar, just not as much. And then you get all of these podcasts jumping up, jumping up, jumping up. And then when these podcasts are jumping up and coming out of, you know, out of nowhere, then, well, what happens? Well, then all of a sudden, these people are doing the same thing also, which makes it, you know, easy, okay, to copy. And that's what exactly happened these other guys come out and they do the same thing at you know somewhat of a similar level maybe at the best level and so now people are not you know doing things as 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 as, as, as much because again because it's easier to do now at that point you have to start doing some content packaging now this is what a lot of people just don't look at it's a lot of folks that do celebrity okay your boy o'shea duke jackson i'm not the the best person at, at packaging, him, uh, but I'm getting better. And you can see that I try to add my little sound effects. I try to add my little sounds. I try to do certain things with some of my videos. I try to have better editing. I try to have, you know, things that make my channel look better. I try to work on my thumbnails. All of that is packaging the content, okay? And so when the only thing that you can do is kick people out, then they don't get no real value from it. I'm not saying that they don't have podcasts that are not valuable, but then, you know, you can't monetize it because everything that you do is just kicking chicks out of your show. And that's how you fall off, okay? You blow a million dollar opportunity. And this is one of the things I would say a lot of people don't do. When you start making money in this business, one of the things that you need to do or that you should want to do is you have to pay for coaching and you gotta pay or developing. It's one of the things that you just must do. It's so imperative. When you start getting money in this business, and a lot of guys feel like, okay, I'm getting $500,000 a month, I'm getting $100,000 a month, 
Okay, so basically, I don't need to do any more than what I'm doing. What? <laughs> no, man. You have to start like, hey, I need, I need more concepts. Okay, hey, I need more development. Hey, I need help on the oh, thumbnails. Things different. like that. I can't just rely I on just a trick pony about this. of disrespecting and yeah, yelling at chicks all day together. and then kicking them off. Like, you got to do so many things. Like, even for us, I'm going to let you guys in a little secret. I don't know how many PCs that we have in this business, okay? But I got, I don't know how much I pay for Premiere every year. Um, you know, what I pay for lenses, what I pay for cameras, what I'll pay for Rode Pros, um, all the stuff that I have to do. I, I, I'll pay it to get better, okay? How to source content, how to package content. This is why I'm a preacher so good. They're so really good at delivering content and packaging it for their audience and making sure that their audience is getting what they want to see. Oh, they can continue to grow. Even right now, a lot of guys are growing on short form, which is what I'm going to look at. Uh, if you go to my Pan-African Dating Show, for example, just look at how many followers we have on Pan-African Dating Show on, uh, on, on, on TikTok, you know, and then on YouTube. All of that is about packaging. Nobody's getting kicked out. Nobody's getting disrespected. It's about do people right. like the content and how good are you doing it with your packaging? And that's something that a lot of content creators don't look at. They look at, oh, I'm getting the bag. Okay, I'm getting all the money. I can take all these money. If buy houses and all that, you're not getting coached, you're not getting developed, you're not going to the next level. How are you going to work with the brand deals for some of these people? Well, how are you going to get better? This how are you going to collaborate? And then they should be all out with so many people. <laughs> these guys could have been doing the same things that I don't be want to do short form content, though. I don't they could have like done that same height. <laughs> but they were too disrespectful. Mm, so I you should, end up falling off. I should work on because my TikTok all you're stuff. trying to do is just be as controversial Ooh. as you can be. And not necessarily being as good as you can be. Look at Adam 22. We would all say that Adam 22 is nowhere near as, I say, as exciting of what happened on Fresh and Fit, right? They do have issues on Adam 22, for sure. All right? Like, they have problems on, on Adam 22. It can get funky down there sometimes. But the thing is, Adam 22 runs a business, for the most part, that's, hey, it's relatively based on some level of value. He was dropping gems low-key. He was speaking the truth. Uh, you know, it is important to think about these things when you're a creator. And I mean, although I haven't tapped too much into short-form content, I definitely have, you know, expanded with my second channel, you know, turned that to a vlog channel. I definitely really enjoy uh, making videos over there. So definitely plan to you know expand and put a lot of energy into that and then you know i do have my patreon so i mean i'm juggling different things but it's like i could take it a step further and you know get into short form content as well but it's like that's just more work <laughs> and it's like i really try to have a decent uh work and personal life balance um so that's very important Cause some people they be killing it online, but they in their room twenty four seven, always in the house. Saying, I can't live that life. I gotta get outside. I gotta be in these international streets. I gotta be out here in in you know these LA streets or whatever, <laughs> living my life. All right, I got other people too. In my anyway, um, but yeah, solid advice. <laughs> but yeah, fresh and fish definitely seems like they cause their own demise. And you know, Adam is speaking the truth. I don't know why people are calling him a hater. I don't understand that. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think. Let me know what other videos you want to watch. And I'll see y'all the next time. Bye.